It's always great to learn about the stories of the past And how we went from moving slow and moving so darn fast Sit back and relax and learn something you didn't know Here's a little history from the Mo. All right, welcome back to the Mo, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about a guy named Enrique Gasque Molina, uh, also known pseudonym was Ramon Naya. He became one of Lynn Riggs' most well-known proteges. So they met in Mexico and they went back and forth from there to Santa Fe, uh, to New York together, and uh, they had a. Uh, a great relationship. They were partners uh, professionally and romantically. Um, one thing that we love about Ramon is how he covers certain time periods of Lynn's life um, through his paintings and later on a lot of the wonderful plays that they co-wrote together. So this one is named Hazel. So this is uh, takes place in Lynn's kitchen here in uh, their beautiful home in Santa Fe. Uh, we have some great pictures of uh, their home and then some wonderful shots of uh, Lynn amongst all of Ramon's paintings and uh, one, some of uh, Ramon actually at the easel painting some of these works. So we're gonna show you all of these in our collection. Again, I wish we had more space um, to hang some of these great great paintings by Ramon Naya. One of the coolest things I found at the Beinecke up at Yale was this interesting hotel postcard. It's really more of a flyer um, from a beautiful little hotel in Jalisco, Mexico. If you look here on the left hand side, it looks like a, um, a really neat sketch possibly a watercolor of um, a Mexican painter. And then on the right, you have this nice little illustration of a writer. So this area here in Mexico was known to be quite avant-garde, um, a smaller art colony there. And it's, it's fascinating because this one on the left really does resemble Ramon, and this illustration on the right really does resemble Lynn Riggs. Another awesome thing that really uh, brings the two artists together here. Here's another great one by Enrique Gasque Molina, also known as Ramon. So if you take a look here, um, this one doesn't have a title, and I wish I knew more about its location, but it, it looks like, um, some builders are working on a courthouse here or, or something uh, very official because uh, we've got this great clock up above. So I always refer to this one as the 720 painting because the clock here. But what's wonderful about this, Ramon actually uh, signed and dated the bottom of this one. And so we know that this one was finished up in 1937. All right, this is our last painting in our collection of Ramon Nayas. So if you look closely here, this is definitely depicting a ritual or ceremony happening um, in Mexico. Um, so Ramon, of course, grew up there um, and then later on traveled to Santa Fe and then to New York with Lynn. Uh, but this is a really wonderful piece we have because we have the photo of him actually painting this piece. So if you look closely, he's just starting to work on it and this is the finished product. This one also is in great need of conservation as well. Uh, these are almost 100 years old, about somewhere between 80 to 90 years old. So we're, we're really hoping uh, that we can get some conservation work done on some of these um, and then have some more research done on Ramon's work and his life. He was a terrific writer. He actually beat Tennessee Williams out for an award. Um, Cow in the Trailer is one of my favorites of Lynn's and Ramon's that they collaborated on for radio. Uh, but his artwork is astounding and we're so happy it's here in Claremore. Thanks again for tuning into our show here at The Moe.